guys, I'm trying. Sycamore. Today is Thursday, November 10th, and welcome to this episode of our daily video announcements. And hello, I'm Noah. Now it's time we all stand and place our hand over heart and join Mr. Foley's class to honor this amazing country as ours as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and please be seated. Be grateful and kind, Sycamore. We are very grateful for our family, friends, and extra grateful for our veterans this week. Today, take a moment to thank a veteran, and here is our junior high veteran of, of the day, Mr. Hartley. This is Mr. Hartley. You, you may have seen him helping a student around the school with a dog. He helps protect our country while serving in the Air Force for four years. Let's now go over to Deanna and Mr. Hartley. Hi, I'm Deanna, and I'm here with... Mr. Hartley. Today we're interviewing veterans. How long did you serve for in the military? I served for four years. What part of the military did you serve for? I served in the United States Air Force. How did the experience impact your real life? I think the experience had a positive impact in my real life mm -hmm. with the relationships that I built mm -hmm. and the places that I was able to see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's your most and least favorite part about serving there? So my least favorite part about serving was being away from home for so long mm -hmm. and my favorite part about serving was being able to travel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right, thank you. as well as our all of our junior high uh, family veterans included in the video. If you would like to add your special veteran to the TV displays and the video announcements, then add them to the form in the student communication classroom. Today, code is OZUJS35. Tomorrow is our final video with added veterans, and we will run them on the TVs for the month of November. Yes, tomorrow is Friday, November 11th, and our spirit day to support our veterans for Veterans Day. We are red, white, and blue tomorrow to support all those who serve and have served in our country. Go USA! <laughs> Woo! -hoo. And if you want to make changes around the school, make sure to add your suggestions on the Co suggestion box in the front office. Thanks, Student Council. Okay, next up, National, National day. day! Today is National Vanilla Cupcake Day. Other terms for cupcakes are fairy cakes and patty cakes. Now it is time for Charlie's interviews with a thankful Thursday. Hi, I'm Charlie, and I'm here with... Mrs. Manning. Okay, so these are the thankful interviews. So, Miss Manning, mm -hmm. uh, what are you thankful for? Oh, uh, I'm so very thankful that I work at Sycamore Junior High and that I have awesome co-workers, awesome students, I have awesome student helpers that help me during the day, 
and I am so very thankful and grateful that I work here. Okay, thank you, and be thankful. Thanks, Charlie. Next up, birthdays. birthdays. Happy birthday to Penelope R., Kiera I., and staff, staff member Mrs. Topher. Have a wonderful birthday. Now over to Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your daily video announcements. All right, next Wednesday, November 16th, will be the second meeting of Partners Club in the cafeteria. Students are always welcome to join just by stopping down to the meeting. You can also join the Google Classroom using the code VNP2AR. It's right there. In January, Partners Club will be taking a snow tubing trip to Perfect North. If you would like to be a part of that field trip, you need to attend at least two meetings prior to the trip. We look forward to having you join us to make friends, eat a snack, and have some fun. International Club, you will not be meeting tomorrow. So International Club, excuse me, you will not be meeting this Friday. Go home on the bus, get your ride home right after school on Friday. You will meet again next week. That's it for me. You guys enjoy your day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks so much, Mr. Harris. Now over to our Dean of Students, Mr. Stern. Hello, Aviator Nation. Welcome to another episode of Stern's Mailbox. Thank you for the submissions that have been coming in. I wanted to read this one. It says, Dear Mr. Stern, I have a question about guideline restrictions. Why are music guidelines so strict? Sometimes when I get really bad panic attacks during school, music is my release. And I only listen to it during free time and when teachers say I can. However, recently when I look up music that is 100% appropriate for school, it says access denied. This has made my learning at school very stressful and hard. Is there any explanation to this problem? Um, we all love our music. There is, there is no doubt. We are right with you on board. So a couple of things when we, we think about with music. Um, we got to think about what's acceptable not only to school, but we've got to think about what's acceptable to our community members. That's going to be your parents, and you know that it is going to be across the board. Some parents are okay with listening to anything, and some parents are going to be much more restricted. So that just begins to kind of show you part of the problem that we're, we're dealing with. The other part of the problem is everything that you do on your computer typically gets categorized. So let's think about YouTube, let's think about music that is on YouTube. When music is put onto YouTube, it has to go into a category. Whoever puts that on YouTube puts a category on it. Well, music is going to have a category called music. Unfortunately, there's not a, this is appropriate music, this is not appropriate music. And when we think about music, we've got two things to think about. One is language, sometimes Language is great. The other thing is the message that it sends. Sometimes you can have good language, but not necessarily a good message. Anyway, you have a category of music, and there is only one category. Well, with us knowing that some music is not appropriate here at school or to our community, we have to put a block. Not we. It's not even Sycamore Junior High. This goes much higher than, than us. But they have to put that category of music on it, and therefore it blocks pretty much all of the music. So anything again that you do, most things are, are not, everything's categorized, most things are not restricted, but for example, I'm sure you realize games is a category, games typically get restricted. Music, having so much language, messages, etc. when things are category, categorized as music, they are now being restricted and and that's the reason and we def definitely emphasize with you um, again we all love our music but it is something that we have had to um, not again not we but people above us had made the decision to put restrictions on thank you for your questions we certainly appreciate it hey you can't change the consequences but you can always change the behavior have a great day Thanks, Mr. Stern. And if you have any suggestions for Mr. Stern's informative episodes, please fill out the form in Mr. Stern's mailbox on the News Crew Google Classroom. And now for the joke of the day. How does milk introduce itself in Spanish? I don't know. What? Soy milk. <laughs> Good one. Be grateful for what you have. Smile and be kind, everyone. Also, show your appreciation, patriotism, extra this week, Sycamore. And go, go Waves! waves.